Happy Wednesday, this is Mike here from Lab Society, and today we're gonna to talk about the difference between regular distillation heads and high efficiency distillation heads. So over here I've got an array of different distillation heads behind me. Some of these, some most of you have probably never seen. Um, we were kind of waiting for some patents to get issued as well as um, you know, just really trying to make sure that we've gone through every little bit of testing before releasing the product line. So this is our standard distillation head style, which is a silvered 4550 vacuum jacketed and silvered head. Um, this head's great because with the silvering, we are gonna retain a, lot, retain a lot of that infrared heat, which helps bring down our distillation temps so that we can get, achieve better se separation. Additionally, um, these heads are great because they're super simple. They have some VIG indents right inside of there that help with aiding to reflux ratio um, and an enlarged discharge port so that we can get good flow rate coming out of the head. Where the high efficiency heads come into play, and I'll start all the way back at the beginning from when we started to test these things originally prior to filing the patents, pretty much around the same time. So here we have the first high efficiency distillation head that we ever produced. This one was the original prototype. Since this one, there have been many prototypes. So basically the whole idea behind this distillation head was that rather than having what comes out of our fractional column have to exit out of a hole that's off the side, why not anything that gets to the top of the column be able to condense? So this one, you can see our up tube is exiting into this enlarged basically pre-condensing chamber. So there's two different vacuum jackets. We have a vacuum jacket down here and a vacuum jacket around the top, which would be our pre-condenser. The rapid condensation created by having the pre-condenser in the top creates a high efficiency distillation head, at least as we call it. Obviously you can see the inside of the bottom without the silvering and not only that, but it's obviously only a 2440. Um, we make this head in an array of different sizes. Uh, this would be the 3445 version of the head. You could see this one has the silvering on the bottom. The tube on the inside is shortened as much as possible, but uh, at least higher than the vapor outlet or the liquid outlet, the condensate outlet. But the idea behind this one is that we're obviously enlarging our tube to increase the amount of vapor that can come out and thus the actual precondenser is bigger too. Um, this head is available as well in a 4550. Uh, they work great. They're anywhere from about one and a half to three times the speed, depending on what temperature you're running at. From here, we've got this big one, which is a reactor flange head. So this head here was never actually released to the market. Some of you may have seen this at Vegas in 2019. We did a lot of testing on this head. We've done it with and without a vacuum jacket on top. The big thing about this head is that the size of that up tube, which is approximately 45 or 50 millimeters, is actually the same size as the up tube in this head. So. We really didn't see a whole lot of increase in speed with this distillation head, even with the larger pre-condenser. So we ended up not releasing this head and going back to more testing. So the things that we tested were an array of different inserts, which I can show you some of those. We have a reverse Vigru indent insert. We tested that. We tested just a thermal well with uh, no jacketing or fluid or anything. We tested a vacuum jacketed version. So just literally a vacuum finger. And what we learned through that testing process is that all of these create different reflux ratios, which we've seen through structured packing, different types of distillation head inserts throughout the years. Um, obviously there's other brands that have similar types of inserts, but all of these change the reflux ratio. From all this knowledge and testing that we acquired from testing this distillation head, we created this distillation head which is a 150 millimeter head. Cool thing is, is this was able to be um, included in our utility patent, which we have on all of these distillation, high efficiency distillation heads. This one has a 120 millimeter up tube. It has a 150 millimeter flange. So it's approximately a five inch tube <laughs> with obviously large Vigru indents. This one, we have a uh, large Vigru indent insert, which you can see the little indents at the bottom here. Um, this one's going to have vacuum pulled on it. This one works quite well on this head. And then we also have a liquid uh, cooled finger, which could be heated or cooled, depending on what you're trying to separate in your head. And this one goes right down the center as well. Um, what's great about this is you can control the reflux ratio by choosing different temperatures. But you're still going to gain the effect of having this very large external precondenser. 
This head has a much larger temper temperature differential between the silvered vacuum jacketed portion and the non vacuum jacketed portion. So the temperature differential between these two sections of the head trigger very rapid condensation. Another cool thing about this head too is that it goes on either a 20 or a 50 liter flask, hint, hint. You know, we'll be showing some videos of this running this week. Um, potentially we're gonna use our infrared um, camera so we can actually show you the difference between the sections of the head and how that plays a role in the speed of the distillation. And um, that's actually how we were able to prove the concept of silvering originally. Using an IR camera, you can see that this part of the heads, all of them that are silvered, are relatively cold and you can actually touch it with your hands, whereas this part's extremely hot. So that temperature differential is what we're using at Lab Society as part of our patented process to trigger rapid com condensation. So this head um, is not currently available. We're still finalizing some testing and analytics on it prior to releasing it to the public. Um, big thing about going to these reactor flange heads, and the main reason we didn't release this one is because it costs a lot of money to make this versus to make this head. A lot more money for the customer. But not only that, but it, need, it requires a specialized mantle that fits this size, as well as a, an insulative jacket for the part that is where the, welds, the glass welds are for the flange connection. Um, we are not able to silver this portion because it's not able to be vacuum jacketed since it actually is the part that connects to the flask. So as a result, we made a um, mantle insulator that works extremely well to retain the heat, but between all of those added costs, we decided to wait and actually, you know, work towards something a bit larger that actually gives the customer a lot more benefit versus a slight benefit over our 4550 and 6050 heads. The 6050 head, which is the larger version of this, actually runs at the same speed as the reactor flange head. So that's when we went back to the drawing board. We were like, why would we release something that costs so much more money to the customer for little to no gain? This head though, you know, not only do we get a much larger port to the flasks for not only for pouring into, but for cleaning as well as just a massive, massive vapor up to. So we're, I think this head will finally win the race for us in terms of going to market. So um, at LabSighted, we've patented a, an array of different technologies that we haven't released. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about providing value to you. Thanks for watching.